Hello, hello, and welcome to you. I am Shushana, and today we're going to be doing a reading for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. It's about time we do a reading for you. <laughs> so, this is just a collective reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it's not resonating with your story, it simply means that it's not your story today. I simply scan the collective storyline and that's what we discuss. I do not use tarot. I do not channel. I am a, a scanner and diagnoser. I only use medicine cards and positive, positive approved cards. If I sense any negativity during my reading, I transmute it. I recycle and turn it into positive energy. I do not require cards at all, but when I'm doing a reading for a large group, I enjoy using cards. Okay, so right off the bat, Gemini, I'm really looking forward to your reading today because my, 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 for some time now you've been having an identity crisis for the group that this resonates with you've been having an identity crisis and we all thought that it was kind of going to go away and it kind of stuck so what we're finding out today is this identity crisis that you're having is it going to stay is it going to go away or is it going to develop into something else? And why are you having it? In the beginning, the reason why you had this identity crisis was because of a self-defense mechanism. But this self-defense mechanism ultimately became who you are. So... It's no longer a defense mechanism. It started as a defense mechanism and is no longer. Now it has become your identity. So that is what we're going to be discussing today. My readings are based on self-development, self-improvement, independence, soul healing, healing each other. Spiritual development, spiritual awareness. I will clear any negativity that I sense on any viewer that I may not mention. I just do it subconsciously without even saying anything sometimes. So let's go ahead and get started with our traditional medicine cards. A lot of Geminis are very transfluid at this time. You are very connected to the opposite gender. A lot of you have been cross-dressing, but not necessarily being what everybody would expect. So let's say you're a female that cross-dresses as a boy. It doesn't mean that you're a lesbian. You just choose to cross-dress as a boy and be treated as a boy, but you, in your, you still feel straight. So to whoever that pertains to, that is all normal. There's, it's, it's all happening uh, to the Gemini group. 
for the older ones, the older Geminis are going through their own crisis. The older Geminis are feeling like your entire life passed you by and you wasted it. Let's just do a traditional a traditional spread for physical work. What is the physical work that Geminis need to work on during this time? Your interactions with people, your social life, your relationship, your intellectual relationships. You have a big problem with that. So in the beginning, you avoided people because they were drama, but now you are the one that's causing the drama. It's really important to take a look at, we have the intellect for your inner work. I would highly advise a holistic therapist to work with, to work with your identity. Why are you the one that's causing drama? Why are you the one that's inconsiderate towards people right now? So let's say you were bullied at school or bullied at work about two years ago. Now you're the one that's doing the bullying. There's a lot of issues with Communication, how you communicate with the world, how you're communicating with people. It seems like you don't like the people that you are surrounded by. And just because you don't like the people, just because you don't like the people that you are surrounded by doesn't mean that you have to become them. You know what I mean? And it's like a lot of you don't like the people that you're around. You don't like them or you don't approve of how they live their life or what they believe in or their lifestyle. But subconsciously and low key, you're you're the same. You've become the same as the ones that you try to avoid. So let's say there's a group of you here that doesn't like ghetto people. You don't like ghetto people. You don't like gangster-minded people. But then you're kind of dressing like one. You know what I mean? So I have a lot of different storylines here. So keep whatever's yours and dismiss whatever does not feel right. For your spiritual work, we have you needing to improve your inner truth, your inner dialogue that you have with whatever you consider as God. You know, everybody has different religions. I don't judge or criticize people for whatever religion they choose to have as long as they're not hurting anybody. But whatever you consider God, whatever you consider Great Spirit, whatever you consider Source, whatever you consider an organic higher power, improving your truth with that relationship. So if you were to have a relationship with God right now, why is it so artificial? I want to say artificial and ingenuine, staged. There's something very ingenuine about how you're living your life. You know, these are just the messages that I feel called to talk about with you, but there's something very ingenuine and I feel that you are being tested. It's like this spiritual testing that you're going through is, okay, well, you're not going to be surrounded by these 
negative people that you don't get along with, that you, there's no chemistry with forever. You're not going to be surrounded by people that you don't like forever. But in the meantime, how are you going to present yourself to the world? How are you going to present yourself to the world in the meantime, in the midst of having to deal with negative people? Are you going to lose your cool? Are you going to keep your integrity? Are you going to learn? Or are you just going to become a bully just like them and bully others because that's what was done to you? In regards to your emotions, you're a social butterfly. You love acquaintances you love the idea of friendships and social circles activities classes extracurricular activities after school programs martial arts you love all of that you don't like having any restrictions you have to be mentally stimulated in order to be happy you need to be booked in order to be happy so make sure that you're not bed rotting, make sure that you're not sulking because that's going to get you in a worse state. You feel like you don't have a lot of support in regards to your family and that might cause a little bit of depression sometimes where you just feel like you are not being supported and I don't think that that's the case. I don't think that it's that you're not being supported. I think that the other person is just so stressed out with their life trying to take care of you and maintain you. So whoever you feel neglected by in regards to your family is trying to take care of you. And that's why it feels like they're not being supportive because they're stressed out trying to figure out how they're going to do a complete different lifestyle change or what school they're going to put you in, what program they're going to put you in, how they're going to fix your life. You may feel like no one is doing anything about it, but there is. There is something being done. During this Mercury retrograde, you are going to feel dread, dread. You're going to feel a sense of dread, like everything has slowed down and people feel glitchy and incompetent around you. And during this time, you really have to go inward and reflect on yourself and your demeanor, your character, your personality. So all the things that you feel are missing with a relationship where you feel like your person is not giving you attention or a, a bestie or a family member or a cousin or a sibling is not giving you attention. Give that attention to yourself. Evaluate yourself, your character, your personality, your habits, Make yourself a questionnaire where you do a self-evaluation or a self-discovery reflection. Facing and embracing the person in the mirror. You're insecure at this time. And you are comparing yourself to others. Gemini, the reason why you are... One of my favorite signs to have as a colleague is because of your difference, because of your uniqueness, because of your distinct humor. Nobody can make me laugh at work but freaking Geminis. Geminis just have this, their humor is out of this freaking world and they need to learn to filter it because you can be very offensive with your humor heal thyself use this mercury retrograde to heal all the components of you if you feel like you're being selfish this month you're not give yourself permission to be 
self-loving. So there's a difference between selfish and self-love. There's a line there. As long as you're not stepping on anybody's toes, as long as you're not insulting people, this is a time for self-care and evaluating your responses and your reactions towards people who come at you with the lower vibration or lower vibrational foods. Pay attention to how people make you feel. How do people make you feel? How do certain foods make you feel? How do certain beverages make you feel? Just put yourself as the one that you're going to give all of your attention to. By you giving all that attention to yourself during this retrograde that hasn't even started. The shadow has started, but the actual actual retrograde hasn't doesn't start until I believe the 25th. So take advantage of that to unwind and put all that attention to yourself. And as you put all that attention to yourself, you're helping the other person that you feel neglected by, by you taking care of yourself and figuring out what needs to be adjusted in your own components. You're helping the other person. You're helping the other person figure out a strategy to get you out of an issue that you're having where you're not happy. You're not happy with your school. You're not happy with your work. You're not happy where you live, you know? And I don't feel like you are alone. You need to heal your heart. You have a lot of heart trauma where you came into this world thinking that this world was going to be compassionate. And instead, you ran into hard people. Hard exteriors, hard shells, unwelcoming, biased, judgmental, critical people. And it kind of shattered you on the inside. So you might come off as hard shelled, but you're shattered on the inside. You're shattered by the hardness of this world. And some of you feel like you've become a monster because of the hardness of this world, when you are the complete opposite of what this world has made you become. So in regards to this identity, I... I cannot say whether I think you're going to keep it, change it. Just do whatever feels right. And what makes me sad is that I feel that a lot of you changed your identity and did it because of an expectation, because you thought that that is what modern society wanted to see you become. And it's, it's very sad because I feel that there's something about this new wardrobe. There's something about this new identity that you took on, have taken on, that is not genuine. It's because that's what you think that people want to see or what the opposite gender wants to see or whatever makes you feel more protected. We have live. You're not living life. You're worried too much about what people think about you. You've been very severe with your way of thinking. Esoteric knowledge and the wisdom of life are not obtained through formal education. Cultivate that variety of wisdom through your own experience. Life must be lived. 
not debated to be meaningful. So it's not a debate whether life is meaningful. Life is meaningful, but you haven't really been living life. I feel like this is going to change. Give it just a little bit of time, and I feel like you're going to get back into this routine that you had to hiccup over, like there was a little rain check that you had to hiccup over, and you're a little worried about getting back in there. It is so important for you to have order. It is so important for you to have a routine. You become very self-destructive if you are not busy. And then we have refuse to be used. Pull away from your fears and refuse to be a victim. You will never be happy if you don't end the toxic arrangements that imprison you. Love yourself. You deserve better. So you are settling for less in a certain area in your life. There's something that you're settling for less for. I also am pulled to tell you that this is all temporary. There's no, there's no permanence to whatever you feel is permanent. This is temporary. This is just a period in your life that ultimately is going to make you stronger. You're going to, when you leave this career or when you leave this school or whatever it is that you're trying to leave, when you leave, you're going to have gained so much strength from this experience. And no one is going to, you're not going to let anybody mess with you like they did two years ago. Two years ago, people were messing with you and really got under your skin. Where's that other card? This one right here and this one right here is you went through something very painful and very traumatic. You had your whole hopes up really high and you had a disappointment that you allowed To kill the original version of you. And the original version of you is so precious. And I hope to God that you reconnect to that version. Because whenever you had a disappointment, you became something else, someone else. So that you would never experience what you experienced ever again. You never, ever wanted to be in that position again. But what is so sad to me is that position is the original you. And sooner or later, you're going to have to face that original you. For some people, they don't reconnect for 30, 40 years. And I really don't want to see you be one of those people that allows the world to change you. To change the real you. That only comes out on accident. When you're really, really happy. When you're really happy you can't help for it to kind of burst out of you, whether it's through your humor or specifically your facial expressions and the, your loved ones that are around you. They see that, you know, they notice that. They notice when you sneak in original 
your original soul facial expressions. Okay, so in regards to love, because I know how, how, how people are, they want to know about love. In regards to love, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't think that anybody is seriously interested in you for the most part. If there's a group of you where you got something serious going on with per with your person, I'm not talking about that group. I'm talking about the single singles that are wondering why they're single single. You're single single because nobody is seriously interested in you because you are psychologically such a hot mess right now. And they sense that. They sense that your identity is uncertain. So it has to do with you and what you want for yourself. There's also another group of you in here that is very that has become asexual or is exploring the asexual world. And then we have pathways. Look at this beautiful card. This is the card that you're going to be going through. You're going to get out of all this negativity, this negative school, negative career, negative neighborhood, you're going to get out and you're going to pass through this path and you're going to get to the other side. And when you get to that other side, you're going to have a culture shock, a culture shock, a straight culture shock. Okay. You Definitely by this time next year or sooner, maybe even a lot sooner, depending on your situation. I feel like when you finally do move, when your household moves, when you go to that new school, that new college, that new university, that new job, get yourself that new house in that new town, you're going to have a culture shock. That is going to give you an opportunity to be who you truly want to be. And I feel like that excites you, whether you admit it or not. Because you're going to go somewhere where you're going to be able to choose a brand new wardrobe. And you're not going to feel insecure about what you're co-workers or your classmates are going to think your family is already accepting of you and you're going to be given an opportunity to choose again so two years ago you got attacked disappointed you got into this facade that was not truly who you were and the place that you are moving to, you're being given an opportunity to choose again. You know, like a video game, choose a new skin. What do you want to embody? And that's what I want you to work on. I want you to work on that during this Mercury retrograde. Instead of seeing this Mercury retrograde as a nuisance, see it as a map that leads to your core of your soul's being and decide what identity you want to slip into next that is more genuine towards who you really are. So let's say it could be a little combination with what you've been using lately, which in my opinion is a bit of a denial because I think that the identity that you've chosen, you've just chosen it because of circumstances. I really don't see anything for you in regards to love. 
it's almost like the universe knows that you're going somewhere. So it's not wasting your time with anything. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense to you. It's like you're going somewhere. You're going somewhere in the next six months on average. You know, you're going somewhere. And that's that's why things feel the way that they do right now, because they are temporary. And then we have enter the garden of delights. Enter the garden of delights. You're going to be delighted by the new place that you move into or the new school or new job, anything new, anything new. You're going to be delighted because you're even going to go through social PTSD where you're going to choose your wardrobe, you're going to choose your identity, and then you're going to feel a little bit of social PTSD, like, are people going to criticize me? Are they going to not like the, a new identity that Gemini has chosen for themselves? And you're just going to be delighted by the fact that there is no negative response. People are going to let you express yourself as freely as you've always wanted. And you can put the nightmare behind you. However, remember that these readings are in assumption that you are doing the inner work and the physical work simultaneously. Because this is not just going to happen. It's going to involve some kind of footwork. The colors that Gemini needs to incorporate more in their life. We have Scarlet, Attracting Success, and we have the number seven. My biggest advice to you is to keep yourself as busy as possible with positive activities. And avoid being around people that are not genuinely your real friends that just throw negative shade at you and make sure that you're aware of just cutting, just cutting, cutting, cutting all of the negative cords from interactions with very lower vibrational people and know how to separate yourself from those negative people. How to respond, how to react, all of that has to change. Okay? Being more genuine with yourself. Now, for those of you who are in a relationship or are interacting with somebody, do have somebody in mind that you have been on and off with. Let's do some readings for you. For all the other Geminis, take care and toodles. So if you have somebody that you have been on and off with, this is not for the single singles. The single singles need to work on themselves. Like look at these beautiful colors. These beautiful colors. I just feel like there's these blessing there's like this blessing in disguise that's happening in a cellular level for gemini's where they feel like they're suffering or any torment is 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 a curse and it's not it is meant to be a chapter in your life that you can always go back to and recall as where you got your strength from Okay, so Geminis, if you're on and off, if you're on and off with somebody, be mindful that sometimes multiple people might try to say something and it's not just one person. We have, I hid who I really am from you.
You speak to me through music. And we have, I hide behind material things. That's so interesting to have all three of these. It's like I have, I can see what they look like. And it's so funny to me because the your person, for whoever this is for, they're doing the exact same thing that you are. The exact same thing that you are. It's like both you and your person have this false identity. But on the inside, both of you are very squishy, sentimental people. But you are both covering that up with a hard wardrobe. Like a hard, sporty wardrobe. <laughs> We have, I admire you. Of course you have a secret admirer. Of course in your group of friends, there's somebody who's crushing on you and they can't get enough of you. I can't get enough of you. You definitely have crushes in your friend circles that are crushing for you. I don't know why this happened. And they are very sad that you, they are very sad when you are absent. Okay? Those are all the messages that I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.